G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the show. As you can see, I own quite a few Cliff Richard concerts. But guys, today it's all about the new one. Should you own Cliff Richard the Blue Sapphire Tall? But guys, I think most of you out there will know the answer to this one. Cliff Richard at 83 years of age is remarkable in this concert. There's a level of professionalism that this guy carries. This concert really, guys, has a great pace and energy to it. In particular, the first five songs, I mean, it got off to a great start. But guys, Cliff is a consummate performer, a real perfectionist. So uh, what I will say, if you're curious about uh, what Cliff is up to at 83 years of age, this concert lays it bare. He is still up for the job, guys. And I tell you what, the energy, the pacing of the show, everything is immaculate. And Cliff has delivered another showstopper in style. Stick around for more. So guys, I finally got around to watching this concert and I didn't just watch it once, I watched it twice. I kind of watched it again before I did this review and uh, I just really enjoyed it, guys. Cliff is fantastic at 83 and uh, he just moves so effortlessly on the stage. There is just no signs of this guy slowing down. I mean, he really feels like he's probably 70, which is such a remarkable thing. And uh, man, he just really brings it vocally as well. So uh, guys, everything's on point. It was just a wonderful concert. And I think it had a really good set list. I mean, some people have said, we've heard these songs before, but uh, I think the idea of this concert was for Cliff to sing 17 of his number one hits and uh, also sing four songs that Cliff kind of looks at as they should have been hits. I think overall, guys, Cliff got the balance of songs right. He did his early ones at the start. In the middle of the concert there, he did some of those deeper ballads. The energy was always high in this show. I think I spotted four guitarists on the stage, so they really went with it, guys. But uh, Bobby Harrison was the standout for me. He was kind of the lead guitarist and uh, he just really nailed everything, guys. And uh, man, I think it was a great idea to put 16 or 17 hits into this one and kind of a few favorites that Cliff felt should have went the distance. And I think it was a nice blend of elements. And then towards the end, guys, he picked up the energy once again with a couple of those 70s and 80s songs and uh, the Wham Bam signature hit of We Don't Talk Anymore, which people get really involved in that one. So overall, the Blue Sapphire Tour was a hit with me, and I certainly want to watch this again. So kudos to Cliff and the guys. I think you did a wonderful concert. And uh, man, it is so great to have this on Blu-ray. So it'll be interesting to see what direction Cliff's next concert takes. I'm sure there'll be another one. So guys, I had a great time with the Cliff Richard Blue Sapphire Tour. Tell me what you think of the concert in the comments below. And while we're on the topic of Cliff Richard, guys, if you would like to see more Cliff on this channel, maybe give one of these Blu-rays a shout out and I will come back and review another one of these spectacular concerts. So tell me in the comments below guys and we'll get another video happening. And uh, guys, keep watching Retro Man Down Under because you will never know what is going to pop up next, just like the Blue Sapphire Tour. But as always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And it was an absolute pleasure doing this review of the Cliff concert. And I hope he does another concert so I can come back and talk once again. So until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, retro style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang. 
But in the meantime, please check out these other episodes. <laughs> <laughs>